In this quick SolidWorks tutorial, we're going to show you how to view mass properties and select materials in SolidWorks. Very important for uh, material selection is very important for the right application, how lightweight you want it, how durable and strong you want it. Um, if you want it to have good conductance, uh, thermal properties and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over in our design tree where this little list is right now we have ABS plastic selected. And if we go to edit material, you can see we have under plastics ABS selected right now where you can change the units if you want, we're in inch pounds and it'll give us all the material properties here, which is really nice. So, you know, if you're testing, you know, an FEA, you can see tensile strengths, things like that. You got thermal conductivity, um, Poisson's ratio, how ductile it is or elastic. So a uh, very useful tool. You can view it for any material you want, whether it's nylon or if you want to do good old steel. You can see the same thing, specific heat thermal conductivity, tensile strength and PSI. Or if you want to switch to Pascal's, you can do that as well. And you can even change the appearance, the material color and appearance if you want. Right now it's set at the defaults. So if we exit out of that, if we go to evaluate tab under mass properties, we select our part four, it'll give us the mass density, which pulls in from the material and we got our volume. So we can calculate the weight of the part if we want which is extremely useful if, uh, you know, if you're shipping freight, a bunch of these parts and the freight company needs to know the weight of the shipment, you can kind of get an estimate um, and give that to the shipping department. So just an example of how to use the mass properties and select the right materials. I'll show you what it looks like if we select, we just go to aluminum alloy Do 6061. You can see it automatically updates the appearance. And if we go to mass properties again, it'll get us give us a totally different mass and density. That's about it for this SolidWorks tutorial. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.